Uh, one thing that I find uh, with people who are getting overwhelmed with history is that they're concentrating too much on the typical kind of history categories like names, dates, places, which are important in terms of context, but they're focusing way too much on memorizing this month, day, and year, you know, ten times over instead of, you know, why it's important to know what actually happened on that day. I think I, I should say that really what I'm asking them to do is not try to memorize all of the material. That will only lead to greater problems because no one can do all of that. It is hard, especially if you're not used to thinking thematically. If you don't like history, that's really hard. If you're used to, you know, another subject area, you want your cold hard facts. And history, you have to kind of look between the lines. And I think one good tip, something I used to make my mentees do, is make a timeline of the events you're telling me about. You know, you put them on this timeline, you have the dates and the name. Are any of these connected? Did, was any of them caused by the other happening first? Was there a person in either one? Did he show up in more than one of these events? Why do you think that is? and then kind of talk them through it. But the first thing is sitting down, and not even to make them remember the dates, but looking at it now, do you see how this might have affected that or caused that? Um, and that seemed to help a lot. So. Usually the syllabus will tell you um, the objectives of the course, and usually the professors will list the themes in the syllabus. And so if I'm not understanding something, I'll go back and look at the syllabus and say, okay, what am I supposed to be learning? And does this pertain to that objective. Um, I think a lot of people don't utilize their syllabus how, how I do. <laughs> um, but they do, most, most professors do list what you're supposed to be learning and the major themes to be learned as well. Um, and a lot of times, um, like I know some professors will do an outline, um, they'll give you the paper outline or they'll have a PowerPoint with the outline or they say, um, like in this going back to the syllabus, that, that day's readings will have a heading with what, what kind of overall idea you're supposed to get. Let's say, okay, you're reading a book about Tudor England, which is one of my favorite, if not my most favorite, things to read about. And uh, you're just getting the dates of, like, okay, let's say when Henry VIII broke with the Catholic Church, when he um, married Anne Boleyn, divorced Anne Boleyn, did this, this, and this. Okay. Um, it's important to be, you know, to be mindful of the details, you know, when he married this person, you know, think of at least the year, if the decade, something like that, if you can't remember the exact date. But in terms of themes, I mean, tr just try to see what the book is always coming back to. I mean, if you're seeing that they're only talking about, you know, when he broke with the church, married Anne Boleyn, divorced, I mean, uh, he killed her, um, and then uh, Jane Seymour, his third wife, um, see what they're talking about when they're talking about the wives. Now, if it's just a general kind of summary overview book, you know, you can pretty much point those out pretty easily because usually it'll be like an, an introduction to Tudor history and then they'll just cover everything. But if they're talking about the religious aspects of the wives, if they're always coming back to what the wives believed um, in contrast to what Henry believed, you know, just, just try to pick out, you know, those, those common markers, you know, because if the book is, you know, you know, you think it's well written, and if it's a scholarly book, then you're you you can safely assume it's well written. Um, they'll they'll always come back to, um, to to referencing you know the the religion or the politics. So just just try to to um, think of those general categories as a starting point. You know, religion, politics, economics, um, social issues, and see if you can you know kind of see what they're concentrating more on. And more often than not, you'll find a more religious emphasis or a political emphasis, things like that.